Well, robotic surgery is, and it's a little bit of a misnomer because when people think of robotics, they think, of, let's say, the assembly line for Ford Motor Company. Everything's automated, and all you see these robot arms putting cars together. And although we use similar technology, in, in essence, what it is, it's a computer interface between the surgeon and the patient, and allows us to mimic a lot of the maneuvers that we do in open surgery in a minimally invasive surgical platform. No, the surgeon has full 100% control of doing the surgery. None of it is automated in any way, so I think it's important for patients to understand that the surgeon is driving the robot and the robotic technology, and when the surgeon stops operating, the robot stops operating. So it's under the full 100% control of the surgeon. There are multiple conditions, both benign and malignant, in which the robot is used. Uh, for example, in our field, gynecological oncology or oncology, we use it to treat cancers of the uterus and cancers of the cervix. Uh, for thoracic surgery, to typically use it for things like lobectomy or resections of the lung. Uh, in the setting of cardiovascular surgery, they might use it for, let's say, a mitral valve repair or replacement. Um, our Gastrointestinal surgeons are using them for colon surgery, including colon cancer and benign conditions related to the colon itself. Um, some of our ENT surgeons are actually using it for cancers actually in the back of the throat area to remove that, and that's been that's revolutionized how we manage those patients as well. And then we also have surgeons that just might use it for entirely benign conditions uh, that uh, you would never imagine using the robot. So the spectrum is actually quite wide in terms of how the robot is used. You know, the differences between traditional surgery and robotic surgery are pretty astounding. And I think that there are two big issues that physicians and patients get concerned about. One of which is, let's say you're treating cancer. You obviously want to make sure that if a new procedure is introduced, are you going to achieve the same surgical goals as you do with your traditional surgery? And two, what's the recovery going to be like? Am I going to have complications? How fast will it take for me to get back to where I was baseline? Will I have a lot of pain? Obviously, what will my incision look like? I think if you achieve those two goals and make, make sure that there isn't a marked difference between traditional surgery and robotic surgery, then I think you can start entertaining novel approaches. And I think that's where robotic surgery is quite unique. Um, in our field, in women's cancer care, we basically do the exact same surgery in the robot that we would do in traditional surgery. The big difference is instead of ending up with a 12 to 14 inch incision, now you end up with incisions that are the size of a nickel or a dime. So patients go home in 23 hours or less um, instead of being in the hospital for four or five days. But the biggest thing is they're back to baseline in usually half the amount of time compared to traditional surgery. So there are lots of reasons for us to consider doing minimally invasive surgery. But the biggest concern for us physicians is to make sure that we're doing the same surgery and not compromising their care. And I think we've shown at UAB through multiple disciplines that we're basically providing the exact same care, but just through a much better approach. There are a lot of reasons why an individual patient should consider coming to UAB for robotic surgery. One of which is that we've had years of experience. Um, you know, we've done thousands of cases on the robotic platform. Uh, we can cover the entire breadth in terms of surgical disciplines, everything from gynecology all the way to thoracic surgery. But I think the biggest reason is experience. You know, not only is there a tremendous amount of experience at the surgeon level, but we have a dedicated robotic team. They understand how to use the robot, how to get the room set up, what the patient's needs are. So the entire program isn't just about the robot itself but it's about the individual patient coming to UAB to get robotic surgery from start to finish, the moment they enter the OR to the moment they leave.